Are you guys ready for the best challah bread ever? Challah bread is something that I grew up with. My mom used to make every Friday challah for Shabbat. And today I'm gonna to make the same recipe, super easy. There's not a lot of ingredients. Um, sugar, yeast, salt, flour, oil, and water. First, we're gonna make sure that the yeasts are alive. And we're gonna do it by putting two, uh, a tablespoon and a half of yeast in the mixer bowl. And I'm gonna mix it with uh, two tablespoons of sugar. And I'm gonna get uh, about three quarters of a cup of warm milk water. Um, this water basically will help us to activate the yeast and the sugar um, gonna help the yeast to basically wake up. Uh, put it in the bowl and mix it. Just with your hand, the best way. A spoon is not gonna mix it as well. So you need to make sure that the yeast are dissolving in the sugar. All right, and then we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes until we start seeing bubbles. That helps to activate the yeast and also that helps to um, speed up the process. All right, so we waited five minutes and now we need to add the flour, oil, more water and salt. The salt we're gonna add the last. When the salt touches yeast, it will kill the yeast and we wanna keep them alive. So we're gonna go with flour first and we're making today about two challah bread, two decent sized challah bread. So we're gonna need three and a half cups of all purpose flour. So one, now it doesn't have to be precise, you don't need to measure it. About three and a half is fine. It's a very easy and not precise recipe, even though I promise you that the results are going to be beyond your expectation. And another half a cup. All right. So here I have half a cup of oil. Uh, I'm just gonna add it together. And I'm gonna start mixing it on low, just to bring it some sort of together. I have here a teaspoon and a half of salt. I'm just gonna add it to the mixture. And I need to add more water. Now, what a good, uh, a good dough looks like. So a good dough for a challah bread needs to, um, not to stick to the side of the bowls of the mixer, but to stick to the bottom of the bowl. And that way it means it's elastic enough, but it's not too sticky to work with. So you're gonna get good shape, but also you're gonna get uh, a moist and, and soft bread and not too tough. So I'm gonna keep mixing it. We need to mix it about seven, seven to eight minutes on medium high speed. Um, so we can get the gluten working and developing. And the more gluten we have, the more challah texture we're gonna get. So it's gonna be more stringy and not gonna be like a, like a cake which is like crumbling. We don't want crumbling, we want softer and longer pieces. The smell is so good. <laughs> it's like that Friday uh, smell. Every Friday, same thing. It was about eight minutes, and now we need to let it rise. Don't wait for numbers, just see when the dough is doubling in size. Just gonna clean the hook. And I'm gonna spray it with some oil and I'm gonna cover it with a towel and let it stand for about 45, 40 minutes. Don't touch it, don't pick, 40 minutes. We'll be back. All right, so we waited about 45 minutes, actually a little more, I was busy. Um, and look at this, guys. <laughs> Literally, it more than double in size, but which, which is fine, it's just gonna develop more of the yeast flavor, The doughy flavor and I love the smell is really to die for. It's the smell of bread, of yeast. And I'm just gonna deflate it. And from this part is really, really easy. So today we're gonna make two uh, challah. One, I'm just gonna make it into like a simple bread. I'm gonna show you something cool with it also. So we're just gonna roll it about to equal. So it's so easy to work with the dough, it's just really amazing. Roll, tuck the sides. I'm just gonna spray a silicone pan. I like to do this in a pan just because it's easier to slice it after, so I can use it for French toast, I can use it for sandwiches. When you make a lower challah, it's just 
you can eat it like just as a challah. So I'm just gonna put it here and I'm gonna let it rise for about another 10, 15 minutes. And this one, we're gonna make a classic challah. How do you make a classic challah? You need to divide, divide the, uh, the dough for three parts. About equal size. And make three logs that in the middle, they're a little chunkier than the sides. All right, so this is one. This is two. If you feel like it's hard for you to work in the bread, you can dust the surface with a, a little bit of flour. And if it always springs back, just let it rest another five minutes and it will, it will stop. Perfect. So we're taking the three um, pieces of, of dough and we're just gonna braid them just like you do with a regular braid. So we're gonna connect these edges here and just going to wrap it. One, two, three. And then here I'm gonna fix it and then I'm gonna make it look a little tighter that way. Now we have a beautiful shaped challah bread and squeeze the ends just like so. Tuck it under and look how pretty it is. Uh, we're gonna let it rest um, on a baking tray before we're brushing it. There are two options to brush. The classic way is with an egg. Take an egg, you break it into a bowl, you mix it with a little bit of water, and then you brush the, the bread on top. For my completely vegan fellas, um, we're going to use maple syrup. We're gonna mix one tablespoon of maple syrup with a tablespoon of water, and then we're gonna brush the challah. It's not gonna be as shiny, but it's gonna look really good. So we'll let it rise again and look how beautiful our babies look like. I love it. Now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do, as I said, two different type of brushing. Uh, so the challah, I'm gonna do um, with the egg. Uh, the best way is to put one coat, wait five minutes, and then put the second coat. Um, but only one is also good. So I'm just gonna brush it, make sure it gets in the cracks everywhere. It's very, very important. So, by the way, guys, if you know a better way, uh, instead of using an egg for a different type of egg wash that looks better, like more like an egg, I'd love you to leave a comment in the comment below um, and maybe we'll use it next time in the next video. So I'm just going to get the maple syrup with the water and just gonna brush it. Now it's not gonna look as dark, but it's gonna be beautiful. It's, it's a good way of doing it. And then we're using less animal products, which that's the goal. So for this bread, I'm gonna use sunflower seeds. Just gonna sprinkle just a little bit on top. We'll give us more of a rustic look. And for this challah bread, I'm going to find my sesame. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of sesame on top. And I'm gonna put it in the oven. I preheated the oven to 370 degrees. This one will take about 25 minutes. This I'm gonna leave for just another, probably uh, uh, five more minutes. I'm gonna bake it and you're gonna see the results. All right, so we waited 25 minutes and I am so hungry. The smell in the house is just amazing. It smells like a bakery here. Uh, we are going to take the bread out. You're gonna see how good it looks. Are you ready? Oh. Mm. So proud of it. So this is the classic challah. This is the egg wash. You can see it's more shiny. This one is less shiny, but it still looks good and it tastes, it looks more inside, I would say. So maybe go for that theme. Let's see. <gasps> That was easy. And there you go. Look at our bread. It's just 
Amazing. I want to try it so bad and I know it's hot and I'm not supposed to, but I think I'm going to anyway. When you look at a bread, how do you know if it's a good bread or not when it comes to challah bread? When you see the size of the challah bread, you need to expect in your mind to have a certain weight. And then if you're surprised because it's lighter, that's the right way. As well, we need to make sure it's baked on the bottom it is. So let's give it a try. It's gonna be so hot, but I don't care. Ooh. Yeah, I care. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Look at this. Mm. Mm. This is so satisfying. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make it, it's easy, it's fast, it's not as complicated as people tell you. Making challah bread, it's a really piece of cake. Go for it, your friends will be so impressed. Good luck, and if you made it for Shabbat, then Shabbat Shalom. Have a good day. <laughs> Dramatico. <laughs>